John, and this is Francine, and she's a dirty bit crusher. If you've not come across bit crushes before, uh, it's a type of distortion effect, but maybe not the kind that we'd normally associate with distortion pedals. Uh, it's more like degraded digital audio, uh, so think maybe the sound of uh, like crunchy retro gaming or um, that kind of fizziness that you get with bad MP3s, um, like this. And we can make it sound worse or maybe better um, by turning down the sample rate with the crush control here. When we get near the end of the range, um, that's where we start to lose note definition or you get octaves happening out of nowhere. At that point, you might want to reach for the mix control. Because that lets you blend in some of the clean signal from the input with Francine's nastiness. So I've been experimenting and playing about with these types of circuits for, I guess, about 15 years or so now. And one thing I've noticed is that if you feed in like a really clean signal, it can end up sounding a bit maybe flat or clinical. Um, so to kind of overcome that with Francine, and it's why I referred to her as a dirty bit crusher earlier, um, I've introduced a blendable overdrive distortion fuzz circuit, which you can blend the clean signal into before it hits the crusher. So that gives more sustain and overtones and harmonics, and basically just more um, for the, the down sample of the crusher to get its teeth into. Um, so it just really kind of widens the, the palette of sounds available to you. I'm really chuffed with how it's turned out. So the last of the controls to look at is teeth. So Francine chews on your signal from the top end downwards and that can lead to kind of accentuating the high frequency stuff. Uh, if you want to calm that down a little bit um, and take the bite out of it, um, you can turn down the teeth control. It's a low pass filter, so that's pretty much the same as the tone controls we see in, in most guitars. Uh, I find that really, really useful if I'm using Francine with a bass and I don't want to stray into that kind of frequency range that the guitars or, or synths or whatever um, are occupying. So just to say, smooth things out and, and take the edge off things with the, the teeth control. So we power Francine with the standard 9 volt centre negative adapter um, that we use for all the lateral pedals and frankly most pedals in general these days use those. Uh, we've got a true bypass switch and the fetching pink LED um, so you can tell when she's switched on. Although to be honest I don't think you're going to struggle to work that out. She works really well with guitars and bass, synths, pretty much anything you want to plug in. Um, so I think I'll probably end up doing three different demos to, to kind of cover all the different applications. Um, okay, I think that's, that's enough chat now. Let's plug in and go through some sounds. Okay, so I've got my Odessa Deadbeat with P90s. Uh, just Francine into a clean amp. So nothing extra going on there. Uh, going to kick things off with a fairly kind of clean tone and just add a little bit of sparkle on top. So you can see we've got the crush control at about three, so it's not too crazy. Drive turned right down, and the teeth is right up, so we're not rolling off any highs, and the mix is turned right up full as well. So that means we're not blending any of the clean signal in. So it makes it a bit, a bit sparkly. but it's not too abrasive.
Okay, so we're still kind of keeping sparkly rather than completely um, ridiculous. We've got the crush turned down a bit further, We've got a little bit more drive on now, and you can hear, especially in the high notes, we're getting that kind of ringing. What we call aliasing, where it starts to generate almost its own notes underneath things. But you're still getting the notes in there and it's still fine with chords. Right, so going for something a bit more abrasive now, uh, I've got the drive pushed up um, a good way and the crush is now below noon which means that it's going to start getting a bit weird. Um, as things stand I've got the teeth in the mix right up and you can hear it's quite fun but it's also quite abrasive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the teeth down a little bit and the mix down a little bit so it's letting more of the clean notes in and just taking a bit of the top end off. Okay, go for something a bit weirder now. Uh, so we've got the crush down further, we've got a little bit of drive on here, and we've got the mix turned down a little bit just to let our notes through, because um, it is a bit peculiar.
Right, obviously we're focusing on Francine today, um, but I think it'd be kind of remiss of me not to um, plug in a few other bits and pieces and, um, and show you what she sounds like when you stack them up with um, some sort of delays and fuzzes and that sort of thing. So starting off now, we've got a spore fuzz, which is kind of gated uh, on its own. It sounds like... Well, at the moment it sounds like that. Really spitty and unpleasant, I guess. Pinch harmonics can be absolutely ridiculous with this sort of thing. So yeah, it's quite interesting with fuzz. Let's try Alan. Right, now we've got Alan plugged in. If you've not encountered Alan before, Alan's a delay and reverb, but he's constantly changing his mind about the delay or reverb time. So you get this kind of evolving thing happening. Which sounds like it should be maybe awful or just chaos and stuff, but it actually really works. And you can get some really interesting kind of um, spaces and textures and, and what have you. Uh, but it's really interesting with um, bringing Francine into the mix as well because you can get some really kind of nice, I guess, ambient y kind of stuff.
So yeah, that was pretty weird. Uh, I think that should probably give you a flavour at least of what you can get up to with Francine. Um, I like Francine. I'm really pleased with her. I feel like it's a really peculiarly versatile pedal. It's great for when you when you want something different. You don't want a, you know a special effect. Fran I think Francine's really musical. Um, so yeah, like I say, dead chuffed. If you want to hear any more, um, I fairly regularly put uh, sort of sort of mini demos and, and what have you on Instagram and, and all the rest. So um, check us out on there. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers. <laughs>